I left my family, I, I left my life there, and um, I came to, to find that dream. And believe it or not, I started working in a salon, and after a year and a half, I thought, nobody pays attention to eyebrows, and I was working with amazing celebrities that the, the face of the magazines, usually they were all the supermodels and nobody paid attention to eyebrows. And I remember my art teacher talking when we draw a portrait, always he said, if you want to draw a portrait and you want to change an emotion, you just change eyebrows. And of course, we studied the Leonardo da Vinci theory applied in all his art of the golden ratio, that the human eye is encoded to recognize that balance and proportion. And eyebrow is the best feature on our face that creates that balance and proportion. And I looked on my picture when I was in high school and I had pencil thin eyebrows because my esthetician obviously didn't know how to shape correctly my eyebrows. And I was so enticed by that and I wanted to find out how I need to shape my eyebrow according to my bone structure and natural eyebrow shape. And I started going to the library and with all the knowledge that I had in school and I studied five years of technical design, I started developing this technique on how to shape eyebrows. I never thought that this is going to be applied and 30 years later it's going to be Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I was curious on how that eyebrow should be shaped. Obviously, I started doing eyebrow and nobody believed that I, I should pay eyebrow attention to eyebrows. And a year and a half after arriving in the United States where, trust me, I didn't speak the language, I didn't know how to write a check, I, I mean, I start going deep and try to learn everything, I decide to open my own business. I rented a room in Beverly Hills and I start practicing on this theory that, and I start developing this technique on shaping eyebrows. And every single person thought I am crazy, nobody is going to pay attention, I will not be able to pay my rent. But I really believed in it. And I thought that women should believe too because I will convince them that this is important. And this is how it all started. And in 97, I opened a salon in Beverly Hills and I went to the landlord that his office was exactly across the street. And when I told him that I do eyebrow, he thought like, get out of here. <laughs> you know, he had a, an amazing accent, a New York accent. I was like, get out of here. You can't pay. This is Beverly Hills. You can't pay rent doing eyebrows. And I had to try to convince him for two hours right. that he needs to give me a chance. Right. I mean, I'm sure you are an immigrant, please, I'm an immigrant. So I, I, I refused to leave his room. And he gave me the, the chance and uh, two weeks later was a line outside the office and the salon and he called me, he said, are you sure you do eyebrows because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you Romanians will you do there, but I don't know, like why it's a line outside the store. And um, in two th I started working on a product line because there were no products for eyebrows. And this is how I launched in 2000 the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills.